I'm Kelly. And I'm Sheldon. And welcome to OESD's new releases for August of 2023. With some incredible stuff for you this month. We sure do. There's something for everybody. We guarantee it. Yes. So our theme, it looks like, is fall. fall. And I despise August because it's so hot. But if we all get in our sewing studios at home and start embroidering fall mm -hmm. projects, the cool weather is going to come much sooner. It totally is. Promise. And we have an amazing amount of projects for you to stitch out. So let's get started, yeah. Sheldon. First up. Oh, love these. I know you do. Freestanding jack-o'-lantern pumpkin patch. What did say that again? Pumpkin patch. <laughs> pumpkin patch. <laughs> I love it. I got so excited. I know. They're so adorable. So something new this year Ready? is the lids are removable. Sheldon. Where's the candy? Yummy, yummy in my tummy. I can't leave you alone for no, a minute. No. <laughs> <laughs> the other cool thing you can do with these, I love this. You ready? Yes. We can stack them. You can flip those lids upside down and then they stack together perfectly. So cute. So and fun. And there's three in the collection. Yep. You get some freestanding add-ons, like a, a freestanding lace bat and a freestanding mm -hmm. lace ghost. And a leaf, I believe. Yeah, I think there's a leaf someplace. Yep. There that, it is. It's yeah, upside there, down. there it is. Um, and here's a little tip for you, okay. because these have one face and then I four blank sides. I was going to ask you to tell them that. When I make these at home for myself, I stitch the face panels three times. And oh. then I've got a face all the way around. Oh, my God. That's and then I don't have blank panels. So, I love that. Yeah. It doesn't matter which way you put it then. Right. And also, if you want to do this as um, fall or autumn decor, just don't stitch the face. Stitch two extra blank panels. You can do that in any color to coordinate with your decorating That's theme. a great idea. Then you can leave it up so much longer. Yeah, All absolutely. through November. Yeah. Yes. Unless you're like crazy like some of us and start decorating for Christmas at the 1st of November. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Not at all. All right. Let's Next see. Next up is the freestanding buildable spiderweb doilies. These We've got are a few things to show you on this. Crazy good. Yeah. Love it. So these all, there's five different spiderweb, main spiderweb round mm -hmm. portions, and then there's the connecting pieces. So there's so, several different shapes of those. Yep. So you can put these together however you like. Mm -hmm. Um, we did just a basic square here, but you can make a long runner, you can make something round, make it just an abstract shape. Absolutely. And they all just connect on the points here. And Sheldon found the best way to connect those is with your buttonhole foot. Yeah, your buttonhole um, button, sew-on foot. Sorry, button sew-on foot. Yeah, yeah, it just holds those points together and it does the perfect little um, um, bar tack, tack stitch mm -hmm. and it's fantastic. So and that tip is for you in the instructions. Yeah, this is fantastic. And then Heather, who's our newest um, educator, made these cute, cute um, glass jars. Yeah. She didn't make the jars. <laughs> she, she made these glass jars adorable. Uh, she sure did. So she glued the spider webs on here and then like this is made with our isotex light glow in the dark yes thread. it's amazing so we turned the lights off earlier and i was like oh my god the spider's yeah. glowing so cute she filled them with the pixie lights so you can turn it off or on and this one she doubled up the spider web mm -hmm. so that it gives it some dimension yeah which we love we love anything that has some movement and dimension put to a it fun little rhinestone spider yes on too, so. yeah so great little project and that will be available for you later on in our project hub on our website okay perfect and next we have abundant nature by vicki york this is a premier collection licensed really beautiful designs for fall there are nine different designs in this collection yeah, so you have some animals with give thanks. What I like about the, oh, he's carrying a little pear, um, is, you know, you don't have to put the words on there if you don't right. want, which yeah. is really nice. We have um, some wreaths. This one says grateful, but we also have this wreath without the words, so you could put in a, a monogram yeah, or whatever Yeah, customize it is. that to yeah. however you like. Gather, same thing. It's going to have um, a blank one as well. So um, just really pretty sketchy look with the apples and, and the fruit and things. So uh, really wonderful collection with how many designs? Nine Nine different designs in there. Yeah. and there are four wreaths and five animals. Okay. Look at me doing math on You're the fly. You're so good. I think the bear is actually my favorite. I love the bear. And I, I usually like like the squirrels and the deer, but the bear is really cool yeah. looking. Yeah. All right. And then the fall garden flag. This is the third Yeah, the series? third in the series. Yeah. So 
tell them about it. There's applique in that center design, so that goes really fast. Mm -hmm. and you can use whatever fabrics or our Lux Parker vinyl, which yeah. you know I'll be using, yeah. um, to do your appliques. Mm -hmm. The um, the word for this series is family, mm -hmm. and that is that same beautiful font that our digitizers created. Yeah, and it stitches really out beautifully, it. and then everything else is stitches. Mm -hmm. And I love that these are all individual designs. So right. if you don't want all of this on your flag, you don't have to put all of it on there, and you can use those for other things too. Right, yeah. I'm looking at like the the ones you know down the sides. Mm -hmm. That would be perfect, it's like a great around border. It. A border on a t-shirt collar yeah. or something like that. I was looking through Pinterest the other day. Bad thing to do. <laughs> and there was a lot of embroidery just around the t-shirt or mm -hmm. sweatshirt collar. I really like that Yeah, a so great co collection. You don't have to just use it on a garden flag. Use this wherever yeah. you want, those accents. Yeah. They're fantastic. All right. And then Stitch Mix Autumn. I've I think got you that have one over those. Here. This is a really fun one. This is so one. cool. So if you need a 70s owl, owl we've we got, got it. it. It's not macrame, but it looks so like it. It's <laughs> retro right now. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, so we've got that. We've got there are pumpkin. four designs in this collection yeah. because it's a design pack. Yeah, we have the leaf and then a beautiful cornucopia. And these are stitched with variegated thread. And this is the perfect place to use variegated thread in your embroidery. Yes. So I know we, we all love variegated threads, but when you use them in, in embroidery, if you've got a, a fill stitch or a heavy satin stitch, they pretty much come out like stripes. Yeah. One, <laughs> one time I, I, I lucked out. I was doing like a little um, Noah's Ark or something, you know, and, and the robe, I was like, I put a variegated in, and that robe was perfectly striped. Oh, I was that's like, awesome. Oh, my gosh, it was perfect. Sometimes it does work yeah, out. Yeah, but not most of the time yeah. it does not. But <laughs> stitches like this, this is the perfect place to use variegated yeah. thread in your embroidery. So yeah. you can use all those beautiful variegated embroidery threads that you have and yep. have great success. All right. Let the Leaves Fall Tiling Scene by Shannon Roberts, another premiere pack. And Shannon does so many collections yep. for us. Um, She's fantastic. Yeah. So this is a really fun, easy um, tiling scene to do. It's very lightly digitized, so it stitches out really super fast. Yep. We have it hanging behind us. Um, the colors are very vibrant. And so if you want a tiling scene for the fall, this is a great one. And it's also a great one to start with because there's not a lot of stitching. Yeah. And the stitching that is there is like sketch, so it's a lot of straight line yeah. sketch, stitching for those fills. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to go together pretty easily and fast for you. Okay. And Besties by Tula Pink. Oh, we love this one. This is so much fun. So this one has a great assortment of designs. Yes, yeah, 15 designs. Yep. Of course, Tula's incredible, vibrant colors. Yes, yeah, so much fun. I love the little, is it a gerbil or a hamster? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have some kitty cats and a bunny, a bunny. rabbit. And then here's Sheldon's favorite because it yes. looks very much like one of his babies. It does. Mm -hmm. So f finally I get an embroidered design that looks like my dog. But not my dog. Not, not this time. Not this time. <laughs> we'll keep trying. Yeah. But, so there's 15 designs in this collection. They're super great so that you can have some wonderful embroidery for you and your furry friends. Yes. And Tiny Autumn, Ooh, another great collection. So excited about this. So we have several, several tiny collections, and this is just the latest. And the colors are beautiful. The designs are amazing. They are. The stitching is yeah. incredible. This is just a small sample. There's 25 designs in this collection. So many. Yeah, huge variety, great colors. And it's it's great to put these as small accents on things, mm -hmm. but Kelly, you had um, you did a great project with one of the other tiny yeah, collections. Yeah, so one of the uh, the very I think it's the very first one. I just stitched every single one of them on a piece of fabric, just all random, mm -hmm. and then I just turned it into a pillow. And it's one of my most popular yeah, samples. Yeah, it looks like, incredible. That is so cute because you're just embellishing the whole fabric with it. But you could do this on you know above a pocket. There's also I think you can get them in a lot of different stores. There's little wooden. Um, hoops that you can yes. at for jewelry or mm -hmm. keychains or something like that. So there's many things you can do yeah. with this. Yeah. So, super fun. Looking forward to that one. Yeah. Freestanding Sunflower, another one of our fantastic designs. This is made entirely of thread. Yes. I do not know how our digitizers do this, honestly. They make it look so real. I think they're thread wizards. They are thread. Oh, I like that. Riley asked earlier if they're sunflower seeds. I see them right here. They're not ready. Yep. No, not ready yet. But it's all put together. You do, there's one, two, three, about four or five layers. You put them all together on a brad, close the brad, and you're good to go. You could put this on wreaths, um, you know, just anywhere. Yeah. We have a picture of it on a hat. Uh, just really. Make part of your tablescape mm -hmm. for, you oh, know, yeah. a fun fall 
yeah. um, dinner, whatever. Yeah, Such a they're pretty design. really awesome. Okay, another treat pouch. Mm -hmm. this one, oh my God, Sheldon, I cannot leave you alone for a minute. There's no candy in here either. Uh-uh. Sheldon. Yesterday was a great afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of candy. <laughs> so um, we have two different sizes. <laughs> I, I just, I don't I know. know what to do with you. I know. All right. Um, two sizes. They're really fun. They have our clear vinyl in it, which is which, great. Which, if there was candy left in there, you'd be able to see it. You would be able to see it's it. It's empty. Oh, well. I'll just have to, I'll just have to hide these from you next time. That'd probably be best. Yeah. So, these are really, they're made in one hooping, easy to do. They're made with felt. One thing I want to talk about, because we yes, get this, this question a lot, is in the, in the front, it stitches a little um, straight stitch buttonhole. And that's just replacement. It's a guide, yes. yes. Just to know where you're supposed to cut for the ribbon. Now, when you cut, it cu you want to cut all the way through to the back, because the biggest question we always get is, well, I don't know where to cut you're in the back, because there's no guides back there. Well, if we had guides on here, then we would have to do this in two hoopings. No, I don't want to do that. That's just extra stabilizer, so extra much. time. Yeah. And it's felt. It's not going to ravel, so it's not a big deal. So you just cut through the entire thing. Yep. Weave your ribbon through with um, alligator clamps. Mm -hmm. They're fantastic for that. And fill it up with whatever treat you want. I wouldn't even bother with that size because that's not enough candy for anybody. No. 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 This is the minimum <laughs> size. Yes, I agree. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And the Fall Felt by Pen and Paint, another no, This is license. another fun, fast it's little great. project, gift, whatever I, you'd like to do with I it. I really yeah. like this because there's so many just fun, quick, and easy things we can make. Yeah, yeah. and such a huge variety. But yeah. yeah, let's talk about this one. We love it. Yeah, there's three different designs. So this is just a small pack. It has Hello Autumn, Happy Fall, and a nice pumpkin. They're finished on both sides. So you can use whichever side you want. Yeah, they it, make great coasters. You could do a fun garland with it. Sheldon and I were trying to think of the name of when you yeah. string them straight right down don't know but yeah. that would be cool too and yeah. and they're all one color so you can change that thread color to match whatever yeah. decor you're trying to work with yeah. of course change your felt color to whatever you like yeah really fun versatile project and they stitch really fast yeah really really fast okay and finally we have wizard school this is so cool i love this 12 love this. designs mm -hmm. in this uh collection and our one of our contract educators, April, she made this did. amazing hooded cloak. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Incredible. She did a fantastic job on it. That will be a project on Project Hub. So if you have somebody that needs a costume for October, you have plenty of time to make it. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, but very versatile designs. You can put those on anything that, that you like. We know there's lots of wizard fans out there. Very sketchy designs. Mm -hmm. Really fun. She's got the castle down there at the bottom. And I just love it. Really fun. So, um, yeah, that's a great collection, too. And that's everything for the month of August, which is an incredible so amount. So many designs. Yes. So you get six premiere collections and six design packs. Mm -hmm. All right. So how do we get all of this, Sheldon? Because you know... We want it all. Right. The best way to get everything, of course, you can wait till they, they release in August, you know, throughout the month. Well, that's but no fun. I nobody want wants all to wait. at the beginning of the month. Right. August so 1st. The best way to do that is to subscribe to the monthly Spree Stitchers Club online. Yep. Get the digital files, download to your account at 12.01 a.m. the first of the month. Yes. Um, you will have everything in there, all the designs, all the instructions mm -hmm. will be in your account and you'll be set to go for the month, and that is $49.99 a month. Yeah, Spree Club, I think, is your best way to go. Um, it's like a sub subscription box, but yeah. right for your machine. That never yeah. ends. It never ends. It's awesome. Yeah, so yeah. Um, we hope that you enjoy all these designs. Six different packs and six different premiere collections, just a, an abundance of designs. So yes. um, we will see you next month. And happy stitching.